So you might have noticed in some of my recent velocity-based training tutorial videos that I used an app to record my velocity data. Now that app is called Metric VBT. And the really cool thing about the Metric VBT app is you don't need any extra hardware. No strings, no wearables, no extra devices. All you need is your smartphone, the camera on the back, and the app does all the work for you. Automatic, no measuring of your range of motions, no you know finding the plates. It does all automatically within the app. So to set it up, all you need to do is go into the app, open it up, press the record button. Today I'm doing bench rest, I'm doing 72.5 kilos. So you enter the weight, select the exercise, confirm, and that will then take you to a camera view. From here, you just need to make sure the phone is in a fixed, stable position. Because if I wobble it, you'll get a little stability warning. The phone needs to be in a fixed, stable position to get a good trace and a good track on your reps. To do that, I use a tripod, but you could use a weight plate or a dumbbell or a drink bottle and just rest it up against that. It just needs to be pretty vertical and really stable. From here though, all I do is I press record, it starts recording and I go do my set. When you finish your set, you just come down to the phone, press stop, it'll do a little analysis and you'll get all your data right there on the spot. So you get a set summary, which has a bit of an overview of some of the key metrics you wanna focus on. You'll get a table that views rep by rep analysis of every single rep for velocity and range of motion. You can get a video, so you can play that back and watch your form and technique. And you'll also get a graph of your velocity, your range of motion, and the trace of the velocity over time. 72.5 should not be that hard. But when you do a few sets for the camera, they start to add up. <laughs> If you want to learn more about Metric, check out the link below in the description, metric.coach, to learn all about where the app's at, latest features, uh, and how you can get a copy and how you can get started with velocity tracking on your smartphone.